G'day guys, welcome back to the Devon Too Good Investing Channel. In this video today, we're going to be doing an updated valuation of Alibaba stock as we've recently received the yearly earnings. So now we have a better idea on how to project moving forward. So for this valuation, we're going to be using a discounted free cash flow model and we're going to be growing out the free cash flow over the next five years. So for this valuation, there are a few different things we need. First thing we need is expected growth rates. And for this valuation, I think Alibaba should grow somewhere between 10 and 14%. So I've got five different models and I've pretty much listed out you know, 10%, 11%, 12%, 13%, and 14% growth. And if we come over to the estimates, we can see that you know, Alibaba in the past has grown, you know, 30% a year, even higher than that at times. And recently their growth has slowed down and analysts are expecting about 11% growth moving forward. And in terms of free cash flow, they are expecting pretty choppy numbers here. Uh, they did produce $29.8 billion in free cash flow last year and it has fallen 48.6% to... 14.6 billion however um, i'm gonna stick with my guns here i'm gonna go somewhere between 10 to 14 percent free cash flow growth because i do believe in the company personally so i've also entered the year zero free cash flow that was this year's free cash flow and that's what we're going to be growing out into the future we also need the required rate of return this is your discount rate. I've added a discount rate of 22%. And the reason why I've added 22% is that gives me a margin of safety. So my target rate of return is 15. But if I aim for 22, over the course of 10 years, a 22% return is an 8x on your money. And then a 15% return is a 4x on your money over 10 years. So hence it gives you a 50% margin of safety. I've added in the shares outstanding here. You can find this on Alibaba's income statement under diluted shares outstanding. I've also had to add a terminal multiple. For this valuation, I've chosen 15. Uh, it's fairly conservative, in my opinion, for, for a business of this quality. And historically, it's traded at a lot higher. It's traded you know, in the 30s for quite a lot of its uh, time since it's IPO'd. And 15 is fairly conservative. However, you should be fairly conservative. And there's a good chance that the market moving forward will be, you know, that they'll use a lower terminal multiple just because of the, you know, Chinese risk. Net cash. So this is the cash and equivalents on the assets part of the balance sheet minus the long-term debt on the liabilities part of the balance sheet. And we get $49.5 billion. And then finally... Alibaba own a one-third stake in Ant Group. It was rumored that it was going to IPO. Uh, it, man, it was about a year and a half ago now it was going to IPO. And the rumor was that it was going to IPO for about $300 billion. Alibaba owned one-third of it. So that would be one uh, $100 billion. And if you then account for a 70% decline since then due to it not IPOing due to the downturn we've had in the market. That gets you at about $30 billion for that. So now if we look at the result of all these factors, you can see if you believe Alibaba is going to grow 10% and you are after a 22% return, you can look to buy it at around $90.23. However, if you're more bullish, you think it's going to grow 14%, you could look to buy it for a 22% return at $100.24. As of right now, Alibaba is trading at $99.01. And I think it's going up in pre-market today, so it might be above this uh, buy price uh, by the end of trading, but who knows, maybe, maybe it'll fall later in the day. But regardless... I feel like these. this is a fairly conservative valuation. You can tinker around with the numbers. You know, Maybe you think it's going to grow slower. Maybe you think it's going to grow faster. Maybe you're not after a 22% return. Maybe you're after a 15. 
and you can see how it changes your buy price here. Maybe you think that because their three cash flow dropped 48%, maybe you think it's going to rebound. Maybe you think, you know, the struggles that they've been having recently aren't going to continue. Perhaps you could uh, increase next year's three cash flow or, you know, increase the growth since it's coming from a very low base. However, I, I'm going to be conservative for this valuation and leave it how it is. But guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and see you in the next one.